Google Docs has three document modes. To move from one mode to another, simply go to the upper right side of the screen. Click the Mode drop-down button and here you can choose any of the three options while working on a document. Suppose this document is shared with another teacher. If I want to edit the document or if he wants to make some changes, we just simply have to be in editing mode. This is the default selection of Google Docs which allows anyone working on the document to directly edit the content. For example, I would like to make these paragraphs in a numbered list. I can make that action while in editing mode. Likewise, collaborators can also make changes. Adding comments function is helpful when working on a shared document. For example, I would like to write a comment that requests another user to make this a numbered list. I just simply highlight the lines of text or paragraphs, then choose the comment symbol on the right side. In this box, I can type in my request. I can also mention a specific user who I would like to do that action. This is through typing the at symbol and his email address. If I check this box, this will notify the user who will be responsible for markings as done. Let's take a look at the screen to look at what the mentioned user will see on the document. As we can see, this comment appears on the right, and it states that this was assigned to this user. Let's say he would like to do that action. As shown at the top, he is in editing mode. Therefore, he would just simply make the change directly on the document. Once done, he may comment back or reply. After that, he can mark as done and hide the discussion. It will be hidden and will go to the comment history. Before we proceed to the second document mode, let us take a look at the comment history box. Note that, by default, when someone comments, all the collaborators will receive an email with the information. To only receive email notification about the comments you created or that mentions you, you must select only yours. If none is selected, no email will be received. Let us go back to my screen to continue. Now that we understand the editing mode, let us proceed to the next, which is the suggesting mode. If I would like to make suggestions that will make changes to the document but without actually removing the original content, then I would have to use the suggesting mode. It allows me to edit the document but leaves a record of what has been changed. In short, the edits become suggestions. To understand how this works, let us have an example. I will delete extra characters in this text. As we can see, a comment automatically appeared on the right that details the actions I made. The excess letters are crossed out. Next, I would like to correct the spelling of this word. A comment again added on the right. The original text still appears and the suggested word is beside it. Finally, I will create these two paragraphs in a numbered list. As expected, comment about that appeared on the right. Let's say the other user will review these suggestions to either accept or reject. Let's go to his screen. All the suggestions appeared on the right side. He can either accept each suggestion by clicking the check mark or reject it by pressing the cross mark. He can do it one by one or he can accept or reject them all at once by going to the tools tab and choosing the review suggested edits. Notice that a box appeared on the right that will allow him to accept or reject all the suggestions. He can also preview first what will appear if accepted or rejected before committing those actions. For this demo, suppose this other user would like to individually accept the suggestions. All the comments will be hidden and will go to the comment history. The third document mode is the viewing mode. This is used to read or print the final document. Notice that the editing tools are hidden, which means we can only use the available options in the menu. I hope this video helped you in understanding the three document modes in Google Docs, which are editing mode, suggesting mode, and viewing mode.